Hello, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com and welcome to this tutorial about Beat Edit for Premiere Pro. This time I want to show you how you can add more randomness and variation to the automatic cuts that you generate with Beat Edit. As usual, we first start Beat Edit and then load a song from our hard drive. If we play back the song, you can hear the click sound at each beat, which allows us to verify that the beats are properly detected. If we generate an automatic edit, we most likely don't want to have a cut at each beat so we need to only select a subset of the beats. In a previous tutorial, I have already shown you that you can select, for example, every fourth beat using the selection tool here. But selecting every fourth beat gives us still a very regular pattern that is maybe a bit boring. To change this, we have two options how to add more variation. With the select tool, we can select a random subset of the beats when we change this drop down here from evenly to randomly. The second alternative we have is to use these controls here to add extra markers. But let's first explore the alternative with the Select tool. We choose to select one beat every one to eight beats and click Select. As you can see, from all beats, a random subset has now been chosen. Each time we click Select again, you can get another random selection. And the selection is such that the distance between two selected beats is between one beat and eight beats. In other words, in the resulting edit, you will get a cut every one to eight beats randomly. But maybe you want to avoid that two cuts are as close together as they are on this point here, for example. Let's say you want to ensure that every clip is visible for at least four beats. Then you can change the selection to pick one beat every four to eight beats. And as you can see, now two selected beats have always a minimum distance of four beats. If this feels like a bit too much randomness for you, you can also combine a regular selection of beats with just a little bit of randomness. Let's change the selection again back to evenly and select every fourth beat. Now to add a little bit of variance to this regular pattern, we choose add to selection and choose randomly again. To just get a few random beats, we say we only want to add one beat every eight to 16 beats. If we click select, you can see that we just added a few extra beats to create more variation. If we want to get rid of specific beats, we can highlight them and choose In Highlighted Region, Remove from Selection, One Beat Every One Beats. This effectively removes all beats in the highlighted region. Now we are happy with the selected beats, so let's create a quick edit with them. I already have the music here in my sequence, so I just need to choose Sequence Markers and click Create Markers, and now I have markers for all selected beats here in my timeline. I manually add one more marker at the beginning of the song since I want the first clip to start at the beginning of the song and not at the first beat. Then I drag the folder which contains all the footage that I want to use onto the Automate to Sequence icon. We make sure this option is set to place the clips at unnumbered markers and click OK. Let's take a look at the result. Now let's take a look at the Add Extra Markers option. In contrast to the random selection of beats, these extra markers are not necessarily located at the beats of the music. Let's enable the Add Extra Markers checkbox. As you can see, additional orange lines appear in the preview. These indicate the generated extra markers. If we increase the amount, you notice that we can really create a lot of them and that they are also placed everywhere, also in between the actual beats. But if we play back the song, you will notice that they are not just placed on purely random locations, but actually also fit pretty nicely to the music. To generate these extra markers, BeatEdit identifies all rhythmically relevant points in the music. The more accurate technical term for these points is onsets. BeatEdit does not only find these onsets, 
but also knows for each of them how important it is to the rhythmical pattern of the music. If you drag this slider more towards musical, it will pick only the musically most relevant onsets. If you drag the slider more towards chaotic, it selects the onsets more randomly. You can even change these sliders while the music is playing. This is more musical, and this is more chaotic, and again musical. If we set it to musical, you notice that only very few chosen onsets are in the first part of the song. This is because the music starts calm and becomes much more intense later. So the later parts contain much more rhythmically relevant onsets. This also means that the more intense the music becomes, the quicker the resulting edit will be, which can sometimes be a nice effect. If you don't want the edit to become too quick, you can filter the chosen onsets with a minimum distance. If we set it to about one second, it means that all generated extra markers, or in other words, our onsets, will have a distance of at least one second to any other marker. If you click this die here, each time you click it, you get a new random selection of onsets. Note that this has no effect when the slider here is set to 100% musical. This is because only a chaotic selection involves randomness. In other words, the more chaotic your selection is, the bigger the effect of the randomness. You can see that each time you click the die, not only the selection changes, but also the number next to it changes. The number has no particular meaning, but it is useful to remember previous random selections. We click the die several times now to experiment with different random values. But if we want to go back to the very first one, we can simply enter 1 here and are back at your very first selection. In technical terms, the number is the seed for the random number generator used by BeatEdit. Now let's combine the selection tool with the extra markers tool to create our final edit. We first select in the entire song exactly one beat every eight beats evenly. Then to add some randomness we choose an amount of about 25 percent, set it to 100 percent musical, and the minimum distance of about one second. This way we get a little bit of a regular pattern since we have a cut at every eighth beat, but in between we still have a few not so regular cuts that will make the edit a bit more exciting and organic. To create the edit, we first drag a second copy of the song to our timeline and then generate the sequence markers again. Note that this updates the markers on both the first and the second copy, since BeatEdit always generates markers for all occurrences of the song in the active sequence. But it does not hurt to overwrite the markers of our previous edit too, since this edit is already finished. For the new edit, we again create an additional marker at the beginning of the song and then use the automate to sequence function as usual. Here is our final product. Thanks again to Artbeats for providing us this great stock footage which is part of the Africa Scenix HD collection and also to Premium Beat for providing the song. Again this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com and we'll see you again next time.